Purple G Mimi here making bacon wrap dates. What you will need is bacon, of course dates, almonds, blue cheese, and a little bit of coconut spray. Purple G Mimi back here with another recipe. This is a perfect dish to bring to your Thanksgiving meal. It's savory, it's sweet, it's salty, and it's awesome. So, yes, are you wondering what it is? Okay, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. It's bacon wrap dates. What was that again? Bacon wrap dates. What was that again? Bacon wrap dates. It's gonna be so good. So, if you really love sweet and savory and salty, all that good stuff, then you need to make this recipe and you need to bring it to your Thanksgiving about like in two weeks from now. So get to cooking. So I'm going to show you exactly how I like to make my bacon wrap dates. So all you need is a few ingredients. I have my bacon here. I have my date. I have some almonds and I have some blue cheese. All of these items you can get at your local Jewel, but... As y'all know, I'm like the spokesperson for Trader Joe's, so I get all my stuff there. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is I'm going to grab one of my dates, like so, and then I like to just pull it apart like this. You just grab your fingers and you pull it apart just like that. And there is a seed in the date, so all you have to do is just pull it out and put it to the side. And then we're gonna leave that there for later for the stuffing part. So I'm gonna do that one more time. I'm gonna peel it like that. And then I'm gonna pull the seed out. And then this is other little area at the top. I like to pull that off too because I don't think it's edible. And then there you go. So you keep on doing that. And I'll come back at you when all of these are done. So I just finished opening up all the dates and pitting them and taking out the pit, actually taking out the pit. <laughs> no, no, no pun intended. Well, a little bit. Okay, I'm done. Getting back to the video. <laughs> I am now going to cut the bacon and <laughs> not the cheese. <laughs> Just so funny. Somebody give me a contract. Somebody give me a contract. So I'm going to actually cut this in threes. So I'm going to cut it right here. Really foam. Cut it here. Now I'm going to get my fork. Just grab any kind of fork and I have my blue cheese and I'm just gonna kind of stab at it a bit and just take some, cause we're gonna stuff our bacon wrap dates with this cheese. So I'm just gonna get a nice handful of the cheese. Whoops. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna put it just like that. So then the next part, what I'm gonna do and I'm going to get low so y'all can see me here, is I'm going to have my date. This is so easy. Anybody can do I swear. This is easy. All you have to do is just assemble things together. So you have your date that you already pitted, and then you're going to add a little bit of your blue cheese. So I like to stuff just a little bit in there, and you can just smush it down. There is, like, no specific way you got to do it. I just throw it in there and smush it down. Then you add your almond, stick it in there like that, and then add more cheese. Who doesn't like more cheese? So then that's a little bit too big. So I'm gonna add in some cheese here, and I'm gonna kinda smush it together like that. I'm gonna get that little piece. And because I love cheese, I'm a cheeseaholic, I'm just gonna add a little bit more and stuff it together. Then after you finish stuffing it, grab one of your pieces of bacon. I'm gonna grab this one. And then you're gonna wrap it around. So you grab it, hold it, pull just a bit. And then you wrap it just like that. And then you have your first back and rate, back, back and rate, <laughs> back and rate. I can't ever talk on these vlogs. You have your first bacon wrap date. So then put this to the side. Well, before I put this aside, I like to spray this down. I'm going to use my elbow because my hand has bacon. No, actually, I'm not going to use my elbow. I'm not going to go there. I'm going to use this to spray it with coconut oil so it doesn't stick. And then I'm going to put my first bacon wrap date on the plate. 
So I'm gonna do that one more time. Grab your date, just like that. Grab some cheese, put it in the date, like that, and then just smush it down, like so. Grab your almond and put it in there. And grab some more cheese and put it in there. And smush it down. This is a good stress reliever. If you're just angry, just smush the cheese into the date. Okay. <laughs> and then grab a piece of bacon. And then you want to hold it. Pull just a bit. And then you wrap it around. And then when you do put it on your um, cooking dish or your baking dish, you want to make sure that this side is down so that it doesn't like shrivel up as it's baking. So I'm going to put it down this way. Just like that. Our baking wrap dates are almost done. I'm excited. So here they are. But I have a couple things to let you guys know before we put it in the oven. So not everyone eats pork. I understand that. No problem. I got you. You can use turkey bacon. Turkey bacon will totally work for this. And also, I have I thought about this when I went to the store and then I bought regular bacon. I was like, I'm making bacon wrap dates. You don't want to make this like even better. I'm telling you this now so you can get this when you go to the store. I'm going to tell you. Are you ready? I, I don't think you're ready. You ain't ready. Okay, I'm going to tell you. I'll tell you. Maple bacon. <laughs> Maple bacon. Y'all, if you put maple bacon around the bacon wrap date, can you imagine can you imagine? I can't even imagine. Oh, Lord. Okay, anyways, so next time you bring it, if you do like regular bacon, do it exactly how I did to the recipe. But if you just want to up the savory, sweet, the salty, all that -ness in the bacon wrap date, then you go and grab yourself some maple bacon and do the same steps that we did, but just use the maple. So right now, I have the oven on at 350. We're going to bake these babies for about... 15-ish minutes or until they're golden brown. So I'm going to put these in there now and then I'll show you guys the final product. Come follow me. They're singing. They're singing. Hello. <laughs> Bacon wrap dates are done. I'm so excited. I just put them on this uh, cute little plate that I have and I cannot wait to dig in. This is how they look. When they are finished, you can cook them a little bit longer if you want them to be more brown. Sometimes I do it like that, and sometimes I do it like that. It just depends on what mood I'm in. So, I'm so excited. It's time for the taste test. <laughs> All right, I think, okay, any mini, mini, mo, catch a tiger. No, I'm just going to eat one. <laughs> All right, I'm ready. Mm. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's so good. It's like, you get the salty from the bacon, and then the sweet, and then the sweet from the date, and then you get the creaminess from the blue cheese, and it's real pungent. Have y'all seen my rack of lamb, aka lack of lamb video? I really love pungent, strong flavors. I hate bland food, so this kicks your taste buds, and, I mean, this kicks your taste buds in its teeth. Well, taste buds don't really have teeth, but it kicks its taste buds, but <laughs> it's so good. I'm going to eat this whole thing. Only it's warm and it's just perfect. So if you guys have to make an appetizer, a recipe to bring to your family get together or your friends and you guys want to just like fancy it up, like fancy it up, make these bacon wrap dates because they are awesome. Sweet, savory, and just so decadent and good. I'm about to finish all of these because they're just too tasty. And I don't want to get myself on camera because you guys might judge me. Then I'm going to eat all of these. So I'm going to do this off camera. <laughs> I'm just going to eat all of them. I hope you enjoy it and I hope that you make this recipe. If you do, please write it in the comments. Let me know how it tastes. Let me know if you like them and all that good stuff. Hope to catch you on the next recipe. Bye. Have your bacon wrapped it. Your bacon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, Purple G Mimi back here with a 
Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> this recipe is awesome if you want to take and. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I should have written this down. I should have written this down. I know better, but I'm just winging it today. Okay, I'm gonna do it again for my <laughs> madness. <laughs> You gotta cut all this out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like. <laughs> it's like. Such uh, a dork. <laughs> it's true what they say. What? Once you find a dork, keep her. I'm not a dork. <laughs> I am. I am a cool person. I'm not a dork. Only a dork would say that. You're. <laughs> well, thanks.